Hello and welcome to the Water Cube 2011 at Stockholm World Water Week. Uh, we'll begin by having you introduce yourselves, is that okay? And also showing us your badges. Right. Do you want to begin, Karin? Mm -hmm. My name is Karin Edberg, mm -hmm. uh, and both me and Melissa is part of the Human and Environmental Health Group as Junior Reporters. Mm -hmm. And Melissa? Uh, well, I'm uh, Melissa Dunbaum, and uh, as Karin said, we're Junior Reporters here at uh, World Water Week, and um, I study at uh, the Technical Faculty at Lund University, uh, where I study environmental engineering and uh, I'm going to begin my master in technology management just awesome. after this week. Very exciting. And Karin, you mentioned that you are about to begin a PhD. Yeah, a PhD in sociology actually. So okay. It's a little bit, maybe not really this theme, but still. But it's still interesting for you yes. to be here. And what theme are you rapporteurs for here? Uh, human environmental health. Okay, wonderful. And have you found a particular event interesting or has there been a topic that's come up that you find helpful in your studies or that you find n needs to be told to more people about? Well, you see, in, in all of the seminars that we have, uh, have attended, I think you can see the links between human health and environmental health that we're so dependent on each other. So that's really the theme we're trying to, to focus on. Mm -hmm. And you uh, can also, see that everywhere. Yeah. And also that water have to be seen in a context together with energy questions and land questions because they are so closely intertwined with each other. Yeah. And um, before you mentioned, Melissa, that uh, about something technical that is that it's important to look at things from a new perspective. Can you um, tell us more about that? Yeah, the one message or issue that I found really interesting that has been discussed uh, in many presentations and seminars uh, during these days is that we really need to start to see things from a different angles, angle when it comes to urban areas and cities because more and more people live in cities and we live in a different way. Many people live in slum areas and areas where we have very dense housing. And we people, we, when we think of how we're creating cities and how we create the infrastructure and the housing in cities, we think in a certain way. Mm -hmm. We have roads, we have streets, and everything is built up from that. But now that people Many people in cities live in a different kind of way. We need to start from the base and think differently mm -hmm. to create new solutions and able to assure that people can have uh, safe sanitation mm -hmm. and uh, access to, to water. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. do you have, Karen, do you have a, maybe an example about no, no, how? I mean, just like a small thing that you have to always think about decreasing your use of water because mm. in all areas of course but definitely in informal set settlements where transport is that mm -hmm. dif mm -hmm. difficult to manage so there maybe it's a better idea to have a dry toilet than a mm -hmm. water toilet mm -hmm. because there's no sewage system and instead of building a whole new sewage system it could be better to have a dry toilet that you come and pick yeah. up yeah. So, that's very That's interesting. One, Thank you for sharing these ideas mm -hmm. and these new discoveries that you are that you're exploring this week. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. <laughs>